Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense, continuing our rheumatology series. In previous videos, we have talked about anti-double-stranded DNA antibodies and anti-Smith O2 antibodies, both of them prevalent in lupus patients. I mean, look at this malar butterfly rash on both cheeks, can include the nose, but spares the nasolabial folds. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis. Now, let's get started. Here is a brief list on my previous rheumatology videos. Another reason to subscribe and to save the playlist. Welcome to rheumatology where no single blood test whatsoever can confirm the diagnosis. You need the whole pattern. Ask yourself, does the lab test correlate with the clinical picture? Quick review, anti-nuclear antibodies, O2 antibodies against the nucleus, reported N titers, has to be greater than 1 to 80 to be positive. The higher the titer, the more likely than not you have an autoimmune disease. The higher the titer does not mean the disease is more severe. ANA antibodies are antibodies against the nucleus. ANCA antibodies are antibodies against the cytoplasm of neutrophils and monocytes. ANA were associated with arthritis. ANCA, on the other hand, is associated with vasculitis. ANA antibodies are antibodies against the nucleus. ANCA antibodies are antibodies against the cytoplasm. Rheumatoid factor is an antibody against an antibody like a dog chasing its tail. IgM antibody against the FC portion of IgG forming immune complex. They deposit. This is type 3 hypersensitivity and the inflammation is on. Rheumatoid factor is more sensitive than specific. Anti-CCP antibodies do correlate with the severity of the symptoms and they are very specific for rheumatoid arthritis patient. Don't forget you can get my 50 hematology cases by going to patreon.com forward slash medicosis. They include questions about bleeding and coagulation disorders. Get them before the time runs out. Anti-double-stranded DNA. O2 antibody against the double-stranded DNA. Very specific for lupus, but it's not sensitive. It correlates with lupus activity, renal disease, and vasculitis. When you have a flare, you will have high levels of anti-double-stranded DNA. When you treat the flare, you will have low levels. If lupus patient has positive double-stranded DNA, they may respond to this drug. If a patient is on TNF-alpha inhibitors, they may show positive anti-double-stranded DNA. Anti-Smith antibodies are antibodies against nuclear proteins called the Smith antigens, which are proteins complex to six species of nuclear U1 RNP or RNA. 25% of lupus patients will have anti-Smith antibodies. By definition, anti-Smith are not sensitive. If you are positive anti-Smith, you'll probably have positive RNP. Both of them are against RNA. Occurs only in lupus patients. That's why anti-Smith are very specific for lupus. But unfortunately, they do not correlate with disease activity, unlike the anti-double-stranded. Anti-double-stranded DNA, again, specific for lupus. Correlate with the disease activity, by which we mean renal disease, lupus nephritis, and vasculitis. They increase and decrease based on the activity, but they are absent in drug-induced lupus. Anti-Smith antibodies, specific for lupus, does not correlate with the likelihood of renal disease or with the disease severity. They are consistent over time. They don't go up and down like those crazy anti-double-stranded DNA. Here is the mnemonic about anti-double-stranded DNA. It's double, so everything here is two, against the double strand IgG subtype, which is too numerous. They are too specific for lupus. They correlate with disease activity regarding two entities, nephritis and vasculitis. In lupus nephritis, you have two opposites. You have increased level of anti-double-stranded DNA and decreased plasma complement level, also known as hypocomplementemia, specifically C3 and C4 complements. Anti-double-stranded DNA are not associated with drug-induced lupus because drugs are too bad. Anti-double-stranded DNA versus anti-Smith antibody. Okay, here are the abbreviations. Specific, specific. Subtype of ANA, subtype of ANA, because the double-stranded DNA is in the nucleus and the Smith is part of the nuclear proteins. They are antibodies against the double-stranded DNA, antibodies against the Smith proteins, which are protein complex to six species of nuclear U1 RNA or RNP. 
70% of lupus patients, 25% of lupus patients. Which one is more sensitive? Of course, the 70% is going to be more sensitive. Both of them are specific for lupus. Less sensitive for lupus, even less sensitive for lupus because it's only 25. Anti-double-stranded DNA correlate with disease activity and symptoms including lupus nephritis and vasculitis. Anti-Smith does not correlate with disease activity of lupus, so it doesn't correlate with lupus nephritis or lupus vasculitis. They are not associated with drug-induced lupus. And same thing here, anti-Smith antibody are not associated with drug-induced lupus. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You can get all of my notes and my 50 awesome hematology cases by going to patreon.com forward slash medicosis. Thank you for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.